everybody. I'm going to do a Star Wars um, upcoming movie called uh, Mandalorian and Grogu video. Sorry if I'm a little distracted, but I got my Yankees game going on over in that direction on my laptop. We are winning, I think, 7-2, to two, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Nick's basketball game 7 playoffs... Um, a chance to go on if we win and if we lose, we're knocked out of the playoffs. And but what I want to talk about Mandalorian and Grogu is a casting rumor that uh, landed last week. I believe it might have been actually before that, but I heard it last week at first. And it's in like real, it's in real um, trade papers, like the Hollywood Reporter and Deadline is reporting it and stuff like that. Okay, the news is, supposedly, um, Sigourney Weaver is going to be in the Mandalorian and Grogu movie. Um, I think Jon Favreau is directing it. They haven't started, but they're in pre-production. I guess they're getting the cast all, all set and stuff like that. So, um, we'll see what that... It, it, uh, I love Sigourney Weaver, and I think I brought this up on my channel. I have a major crush on her. Um, I loved her in Alien. I loved her in Ghostbusters. Uh, I loved her in Avatar 1 and 2. She was actually in 2. I think she played the daughter that they somehow cloned from her or something. I don't know. But, um... You know, because she had become an avatar, uh, they they made her into one, and then she died in the in the first one. So I love her and everything, and she's like predominantly. I mean, she's been in like non sci fi movies. Sorry, I was checking the score of the Yankee game. There, we're still winning seventy two. Uh, um, uh, she's like she's been in other stuff. I mean, she was in Working Girl with Harrison Ford, which. I never saw it, but I saw the trailer, and it looks pretty good, and I think I got to someday remedy not seeing it, and then finally um, see it. Uh, it's probably a classic. Harrison Ford, Sigourney Weaver, it looks really good. Um, if you hear some rumbling, guys, there is thunderstorms in the area, so um, that might be what you're hearing there. Um, but... Um, Yes, yeah, Sigourney Weaver, she, but she's been in a lot of sci-fi films, obviously. Like I said, Alien, Ghostbusters, which is kind of sci-fi horror. She, uh, Although it was more comedy than anything. Comedy, sci-fi horror, kind of. Um, but, yeah, she, it, she's no stranger to, to the sci-fi um, genre. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I'm super looking forward to, to this. Sorry for the camera movements there. I had to adjust my hand. Um, I, I'm super excited if she's going to be in Mandalorian Grogu. I think that has a ton of potential to be really good and really, really looking forward to it. Um, again, uh, let me just tell you about the basketball game here. We are... Do or, do or die game for both teams, and um, currently the Knicks are losing nine to seven. It's early, um, but it's going back and forth, kind of. Um, we'll see how this goes. I'll uh, make a follow up video to the Knicks as well after the game, and uh, it's too early in the season to grade the Yankees, but. I will do that later in the year, um, maybe around the All-Star break. I will um, grade their season. Um, but so far, so good with uh, with with with, um, with the Yankees. Um, I have uh, a little bit of worries about the Knicks winning this. Um, even with guys coming back, they are very much injured, and you know you're in for something bad when your team gets um, a lot of missed shots, like just easy three-pointers or two-pointers, and you just miss them. Oh, my God. So, like, we just got... <laughs> what a play. He's, like, spinning around the Vincenzo, the Italian redhead dude, and he slaps the guy in the ass. I don't think they gave him a foul, but... 
oh, come on, man. You know, really? We're already getting blown out. It's not, Okay, it's early, but it's like 13 to 7, and I don't like where this is going. Anyway, back to, um, so, yeah, Sigourney Weaver in Star Wars. Who could she be playing? There are some people saying um, uh, Mara Jade, the um, girlfriend of Luke Skywalker, maybe. Um, she'd be about the right age to play. And plus, they'd probably have to de-age Luke, Luke because at that point, he would be younger than he is now. Now he's a, a man in, what is he, in his 70s, I think? I think he's in his 70s, um, early 70s, so it wouldn't work to have, unless he's like, like, what do you call it, the opposite of a cougar. What do you call that? I don't, I don't forget what you call that. Um, uh, but the, where the guy is older and the woman is younger. And um, so, I don't know. I, I think they de-aged Luke if he was going to be in the film. And they're getting good, really good with that technology. I liked it in, Har in on Harrison Ford in, in, in uh, Indiana Jones. Um, so that, that could work there. Or maybe she's going to play. I don't know if she would be too old. She could be the cougar, possibly for um, The Mandalorian. Maybe she's in a love interest with, with The Mandalorian. Or maybe it's nothing of these sorts. Maybe maybe it's not a love interest at all. Maybe she's going to be a, a totally new new character that we don't know about. Um, but it has a lot of potential if she's going to be in a movie. Um, great actress. Um, I personally love her. I think she's great. I'm a big fan. And like I said, I have a major... It's, my, it's like one of my Hollywood crushes. You know, right now it's like Gal Gadot, um, Natalie Portman, because we're like the same age. I was born June 5th, 1981. She was born June 9th, 1981. And Sigourney Weaver is like my older crush actress. Um, still looks mighty fine, if you know what I mean. She looks just really good. And, uh,. What else can I say? She's just a really good actress and has been in sci-fi and stuff like that. And Ghostbusters, Alien, uh, Avatar, and if this comes to pass, Star Wars. Really cool. Looking forward to it. Can't wait to see what they're going to do with this film. It's being like predominantly filmed in um, the United States. I don't know if they're going to do any English shooting in studios, but they're saying it's all filmed in the U.S. Whether that means all studio shoots, or they're going to do some in the desert, or maybe Tatooine is going to be in uh, Death Valley or something. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Uh, Redwood Forest, possibly, um, because you've got the the uh, you know the Ewok planet maybe can come into play. Uh, who knows? Who knows what they're going to do? Um, I'm sure they're going to do something cool. And I can't wait. And I have, I'm a homer. I like all the films. I like all the movies. So I'm not worried about the quality of the of the. I liked uh, all the, the sequel trilogy films. I liked the Force Awakens, the Rise, uh, the Last Jedi, the Rise of Skywalker were all really good. So looking forward to this. And if Sigourney Weaver is going to be in it, good addition. What do you guys think? Give your opinions down below, please, and uh, your feedback, and I, I really appreciate it. Thank you, and I want to get back to my game, and may the force be with you.